Before starting, check the consent form and bring the printed allocation from randomization. Confirm identity and allocated technique with the assistant. Assistants should wear non-sterile gloves. The area should be warm and well lit. Term babies should have had local anaesthetic cream applied. Remove this and clean any soiled skin with water. Attach the SATS monitor to the right hand and ensure that the trace is adequate. Prepare the equipment, including a 22 gauge quink LP needle, sterile pack, chlorhexidine and alcohol based cleaning materials, two pairs of sterile gloves and a gown. Label three sterile pots alongside a glucose tube and loosen the lids. Prepare equipment for checking blood glucose, a pacifier with parental consent or gloved finger and appropriate milk or sucrose solution. Operator and first assistant should be happy with the height of the bed and that the baby can be held correctly. Pull the nappy out of the way. For a lying lumbar puncture, the infant should be held on their side, usually their left, with the spine straight and parallel to the bed. The knees and hips should be flexed as much as possible. The hips and shoulders should be held firmly, but do not overflex the neck. Feel for the top of the iliac crest on each side. Just below the intercrystal line should be the L4 to 5 space. The second assistant should be checking the monitor throughout for the lowest and highest heart rate and for the lowest SATs with a reliable trace. The procedure can be stopped or paused if the baby is felt to be compromised. The first assistant can relax their hold while the operator rewashes their hands and puts on the gown and sterile gloves. The infant may be given a few drops of milk or sucrose solution before the procedure and again during the LP if needed. The second assistant should begin timing at the start of cleaning the skin. Clean in a spiral from the lumbar region out to the iliac crests. This should be done three times and allowed to dry for 30 seconds. Place the baby on a sterile drape and remove the outer gloves. With the infant held firmly in the lying position, insert the needle with the bevel facing to the infant's side, upwards. When the needle is through the skin and the subcutaneous tissue, hold the needle in place and remove the stylet. For early stylet removal, slowly advance the stylet until CSF is seen in the hub of the needle. If CSF is not flowing, consider rotating the needle to face the bevel towards the head massaging the fontanelle, or slowly advance or withdraw the needle depending upon the position. Aim to collect into each sterile pot five drops in a preterm baby and eight drops in a term baby. Replace the stylet, remove the needle and apply sterile gauze. Note the time of the end of the procedure once the needle is withdrawn, if the first attempt has been successful or continue timing until the end of the second attempt if required. Ensure no CSF or blood is leaking and apply a spot plaster or spray on dressing. After disposing of sharps and clinical waste, complete the case report form and update the parents.